Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says that the price of a Happy Meal is $4.15. So it's $4.15. How much do 10 such Happy Meals cost? Round off your answer to the nearest dollar. It's a very simple word problem actually. Alright, so what you've got is you've got one Happy Meal that costs $4.15. So this is your happy meal okay this is your happy meal which costs 4.15 okay 4.15 let's color the happy meal pink all right so if one happy meal costs 4.15 dollars then how much do 10 such happy meals cost very simple they cost 4.15 times 10 right so one happy meal is $4.15 and 10 happy meals are $4.15 times 10. Very straightforward. So one unit is equal to $4.15 and 10 units or 10 happy meals are equal to $4.15 times 10. And how much is that equal to? Well, when you multiply a decimal number by 10, what you do is move its decimal point one place to the right. So what you get is you get 41.5. And just because it's dollars and cents, we don't keep this as single digits. So we'll put it as two digits by placing a zero at the end. Okay, so 10 Happy Meals cost 41 point five zero dollars now what's the other thing that we are asked to do well we have to round off our answer to the nearest dollar well when you ask to round off your answer to the nearest dollar what it means is you don't care about any of the decimal places which means you don't care about these 50 cents all you care about is how much is the dollar part equal to all right so let's round off this dollar amount well when you round off the dollar amount to the nearest dollar what you study is you study this digit over here which is the first decimal place okay and this decimal place is equal to five which means we have to round up right so we'll round up the dollar amount which means what we'll do is we'll increase this guy over here this one by one so 41 plus 1 is 42 so after rounding off what you get is 41.50 dollars are nearly equal to 42 dollars and that's all you have to do in this word problem so rounding off the answer to the nearest dollar gives you 42 dollars but what does it actually mean on the on the number line okay on the number line if you have say 41 dollars here okay this is 41 dollars this is 41.50 dollars okay and this is your 42 dollars and say that each of these are again subdivided so you have this as 41 dollars and 10 cents okay 41.10 this is 41.20 this is 41.30 this is 41.40 Okay, and so on and on this side what you have is you have 41.60 41.70 41.80 41.90 .40, 41 and 42.00 okay so this is your $41.90 this is your $41.80 this is $41.70 and this is $41.60 now our answer happens to be at the midpoint okay the midway between $41 and $42 is here now we know that everything to the left of the midpoint will be rounded down because they are closer to $41 than they are to $42 so if uh, your answer was $41 and 30 cents and if you were rounding it off to the nearest dollar you would obviously round down but on the other side if your answer was to the right of the midpoint then everything will be rounded up to $42 because then it would be closer to $42 than to $41, right? The distance from 42 would be less than the distance to 41. So obviously all these over here, all these 41, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, all these will be rounded up, okay, to $42. But this is the midpoint and the midpoint always is rounded up. 
okay the midpoint which is $41.50 it's at the same distance from 41 as well as 42 but we always round it up to $42 all right so that's the how we round off but what actually is the need for rounding off why do you round off numbers well the number one reason why you round off decimals is because you don't want to have to deal with so many decimal places and that's why you round off Sometimes you round off uh, maybe to the 10th place, sometimes you round off to the 100th place, sometimes you round off to the 1000th place, but mostly you don't round off to any lower decimal places than thousands. And that's because you don't want to have to deal with so many decimal places. All right, uh, that's all about uh, rounding off to the nearest dollar and about this word problem. I hope uh, you've understood why we do what we do and I hope uh, you also understood how to solve this problem and I hope you'll go and solve some other problems now as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.